Hello, this is Toe the Roby from NerdSided.com. Here to give you a basic tutorial in the Warcraft 3 World Editor. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a tower defense, a really basic tower defense. Um, and uh, the tutorial will be in two parts. Since we're on YouTube, I can only create videos with 10 minutes length or less. So it's going to be in two parts. Uh, the first part, I'm going to show you how to create the uh, unit spawn where a unit spawns at a particular point uh, each tenth second and moves from that point to the ending point and dies. Uh, and in part two I'm going to show you how to uh, make, you know, when the unit enters the ending point you're going to lose a life. Uh, but this is part uh, one, so I'm going to show you how to create the unit spawn. Alright, click on R to open the region palette. Um, this is where you create regions. Uh, they're useful to like point out particular places you want to use in the trigger. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you now. Click on that guy, which is create a region, and you just drag it over like that. And there you go. You have a region, and you go down here. You create one more region, and now you have like starting region and ending region. All right. Uh, now uh, we need to go. To, of course, if you have like a specific unit that you want to create, like if you have a custom unit, you can go ahead and use that uh, for your TD. But I'm not gonna create a custom unit that now. I'm just gonna use a footman or something. Okay, go to the trigger editor, delete the uh, melee initialization or whatever, <laughs> and create a new trigger. Call it unit oh, unit spawn. Then go to, we're going to create an uh, event. Uh, the en event will be, you click on the uh, flag button, and go down, click T, you can see time ellipsed, that's not the one we want, we want the periodic event, each or, or every your amount of seconds time of game time. I'm going to take 10, so every 10 seconds of game time, the action. Uh, we don't need any conditions for this. Uh, just an action. Uh, and the action will be, click U. The first one that pops up, which is the uh, create unit facing angle. Um, and we're going to create one. Or you can create like five if you want to. I'm just going to create two. Footman is okay. You can, of course, you can choose your custom unit here. You just go ahead and click custom. Pick your custom unit. And for the player... Um, not for player red because I am player red and I want to fight these units. So I'm just going to take player brown and not center of player on blue map area, center of region, center of south region, that region, region 000. So now our defense, pl pl that doesn't really matter, it's only the facing degrees of the unit. Alright. Create two footmen at for player brown at the region zero zero zero. Uh, so now we have created the unit, and now we're gonna make the unit move. All right, unit, oh. move. All right. So now the event is going to be when the unit enters that region. Event, click you, and go down to unit. Unit enters region. Enters region. Uh, select a region. That region. When you enters region zero zero zero. Yes, we need a condition because we only want our enemy units to move. Or at least, if you don't want that, you don't need to create it. But most people do. Uh, we need a condition. A uh, player condition comparison. Um. So when only when player brown enters the region. So owner of Entering unit. Sorry, I'm going a bit fast. Oops. Uh, owner of entering unit equal to player brown. Uh, because, like, if you enter the region, you automatically start moving down to that region. We don't want that. We only want the enemy player to move. Alright, in actions, click you. And go ahead and find unit issue order targeting a point. At order, which unit? Our entering unit. Alright. 
move two, yes. Um, if you have like a hero siege, you can take attack move two. Then it will attack everything in the array. We're only gonna create, uh, make move two because we don't want him to attack our towers. Move two, center of south region, that region. So, uh, order entering unit to move to center of region zero zero one. All right. So now, uh, basically, we have like a basic unit move system, unit spawn move system. Uh, and I'm gonna just going to create two more triggers now for part one. Uh, the one is killing the unit. Unit. Uh, unit. Kill. Uh, now it's the same events as this one. Actually, we could just copy it. That would be easier. Delete that. Click uh, Control C, Control V, and you have a copy. Just call it Unit Kill because you have the same events and conditions stuff. Um, just choose um, that region. Is, that region is dead of that region, and owner of entering unit equal to player brown. We want that, and find unit. Um, like the whip here. You can do kill, remove, explode. <laughs> um, that's the three killing and uh, removing actions. I'm just gonna go for a kill since I'm feeling a bit murderous today. <laughs> uh, uh, kill, kill, entering unit. And there we go. We have the kill, uh, spawn, move, kill. All right. Um, I'm just gonna do one more trigger, um, and this uh, is just a tip for most people who create maps. Uh, because when you create a map, you don't want, want the uh, spawning units to be. I can go here. You don't want it to be neutral hostile. Not a good idea. Uh, because if they're ne neutral hostile, for the first thing, they will move back. They will walk towards the point, and they will start moving back again. And this happens because the neutral hostile has like a basic, you know, they have like a artificial intelligence which tells them they're too far away from their original spawning point, so they have to move back. And that's why we're picking player brown instead. Plus then you have a player enemy. And But the negative thing about that is that uh, player brown doesn't give any bounty. Uh, they don't, you know, when you kill a player brown, brown's unit, uh, you don't get any money for it. And that's what we're going to fix just right now. Take event, map installation. All right, that's when the map starts up. Actions, create a new action. Click P, turn player flag on off. Gives bounty on for player brown. And that's it. Now you get money for killing player brown's own units. Shouldn't call it. Just call that whatever you want. It's gonna bounce you. Oh. <sighs> whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, and that's how you do it. Uh, part one of how to create a uh, basic TD. Uh, thanks for watching and see ya in the next tutorial. Bye bye.